recently I saw some really interesting data from Google. Uh, by tracking people's phones using Android, they found that there was a significant drop in the number of people in transportation uh, in particular after the coronavirus policies were implemented. So this data shows, for example, that there might have been like a 39% drop in the number of people who are accessing particular transportation hubs like train stations. And then it also shows you the difference, uh, the number of people who are accessing shopping and other, other locations. So uh, I think it's very interesting and it actually has a comparison between different countries. Although we don't have the data, the raw data, so I can't really do any really inter uh, good analysis from it. Uh, there is some information on the world data as well as uh, information on country level data. And so we can look at Japan's data. So you can see from this first set of data, this is from April 5th. And you can see in, this is total for Japan. Uh, and you can see they had a minus 25% use of retail and recreation. And that includes places like restaurants, cafes, shopping centers, theme parks, museums. And you see at the same time, they have a plus 2% use of grocery and pharmacy, uh, grocery stores, food warehouses, farmer markets, and things like that. And that kind of makes sense, right? People are going to be doing less retail and recreation shopping, but probably more preparation for a possible lockdown. In the second set of data, you can see the trends for transit stations, which is down 43% compared to the normal baseline, and minus 13% for workplaces, uh, not not shown here, but also there's an, a plus 8% for a residential uh, facility. So you can see that there is a clear effect here. Lots of fewer people are taking transportation, going to work, uh, while most people are, more people are staying home than usual. I think this data is really interesting in particular because it does show that there was a drop, a uh, sig pretty significant drop in the number of people who are accessing different locations uh, in terms of transportation, while there wasn't very much of a drop in terms of uh, shopping or other things like that. But I think it's really important to show that even very light uh, suggestion to sell, tell people to stay home in Japan actually had some kind of impact, or at least the virus itself had some kind of impact and kept people home. Uh, and it goes, it's a little bit contrast to uh, what a lot of people think in terms of uh, the fact that these policies actually didn't work, right? A lot of people have been saying that these policies don't work and we need a very strict lockdown and we need guns on the streets. And it does seem that there is actually some indication that even leaving people to their own devices, uh, they actually have uh, changed their behavior because of that.